ride with me. He ride with me. What up? Come on through. Show. Come on through. Come on through, fam. Come on through. On this special ride along edition. The special ride along edition. I'm I'm amped. I'm excited. It's Saturday. Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully you and your family are out doing your thing. You out working out probably, or you know, either you're working out now or you or you've already worked out. I'm just saying that's that's the vision I have in my my mind. Lynn, what's up, Lynn? Lynn, how much have you lost, Lynn? The beautiful Lynn Hill. Lynn, how much have you lost? Tell me how much you done lost. Tracy! Tracy want me to tell her something good. You good. No, let me take that back. You ain't good. You're great. You're awesome. You're dynamic. One of a kind gorgeous. What's up? What else I got with me? Vonda up in here. Gwen up in here. Terentia up in here. All my gorgeous people up here. Ellen, Ellen says, Coach, I'm about to work out. How do you have my Fitbit? You know what? Look for me, Kenya Crooks, in the little search box. Look for me. And then send me a friend request and I'll accept it. I'm up to 14,000 steps, okay? Janita, say that. I'm up to. 14,000 steps. Hey, Jessica. I'm up to 14,000 steps right now. Okay. I done got, shoot. I done got me, I'm right at five miles. I done knocked out a five mile run already. So I'm good for the day. Tracy says I'm good but better because of you, coach. I love you. Thank you, gorgeous. Man, look. I'm telling you. Look. Yeah. Y'all don't even y'all don't even understand. Let let me just start off by saying I love you. And I mean that. And if you look, and if you follow me for a minute, you know I love every single last one of you. But the cool thing is talking to y'all. Cause as y'all know, I I post my number <laughs> and I'd be like, hit me. Boom. Look, again, Shanti ain't doing it. I like Shanti. Shanti but Shanti ain't calling this people. Jillian Michaels, ain't, ain't, she ain't calling her people. I mean, none of those other folks that you probably follow, they don't call and check up on you. They don't put their personal number out there. I'm on the TV show, followed by millions. But it don't matter if you're on a TV show and it doesn't matter if you follow by millions or even make millions. If you can't connect and serve the people that you're supposed to be down for. You see what I'm saying? Gwen says, I need motivation. You can, baby, you gotta be your own motivation. You you got you gotta find your why. Gwen, you gotta be like, dang, what's my why? Because I look, when I'm talking to you, I'm I'm basically talking to me too, because one of the things that I do. You know, anytime I need a little motivation, a little inspiration, I think of what's important to me. Why do I want this? Why do I want to do this? You know, for for you, let's say it's losing weight. Your why should be because I don't want to live my life. And this is you and your voice talking. You should be like, you know what? I don't want to die not knowing my greater self. Oh, I just said something. I don't want to die without seeing who I always knew I could be. See, and that's the part that be driving me crazy because I do awesome, but I know where I'm supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so relentless about, you know, getting to my better self faster. You know, 
getting more strategies, you know, putting myself out there to meet better people who can, you know, force me to become better. Because sometimes you need to put yourself in a situation to where you get around better, you see better, you know, you, you go, but shoot, go hang out at somebody's house that's a whole lot bigger than yours. You'll become inspired. Get with people who drive better than you. You'll get inspired. Get with people who got better bodies than you. You'll become instantly inspired. But it starts with you putting yourself in, in a position to be inspired. Feel me on this now. You That means you got to do something. That means you, you, show if, if you're stuck in life and you know you deserve more, put yourself in proximity of greatness. Put yourself in proximity of greatness because average will kill you. But see, this is the thing about average. Nobody remembers average. An average person dies tomorrow. Nobody cares. <laughs> Except for the, you know, the people that they were closest to, but nobody else does. See, I need for you to be so huge with your life that when you die, it causes an impact. You see what I'm saying? But it's going to require you to get yourself motivated. See, people who are at a certain level, they're motivated, but they don't need other people to get them motivated because they, they have their why together. See, you got you got to get your why together. And see, when you get your why together, then you'll get together. But you got to ask yourself, what does what does what does Gwen want? What's important to Gwen? And it doesn't. And, and this is the part two. It doesn't have to be important to anybody else. Took me a while to get there. It, it doesn't have to necessarily be important to anybody else but you. Might not make sense to a lot of people, but as long as it makes sense to you, that's the most important thing. Find your why. That's how, for those who struggle with, with motivation and inspiration, write it down. Write down your why. And anytime you have moments when you feel like giving up, throwing in the towel, always go back to that sheet of paper. You know, where you keep your why. This is why I want to do it. This is this is why I need to become more impactful. This is why I need to become bigger. This is why my life has to speak even before I step into a room. This is why. If you don't have your wise together, you won't be together. So get your wise together. How about that? How about that? Then your life will change. Look, if your life still looks the same as it as it was five to ten years ago, if if you're doing the same things talking the same way, having the same conversations, seeing the same people, not doing anything different, not looking different, then it falls on you. That's your fault. That's your issue. You got to do something about it. That's the beautiful thing about God. There's this thing called free will that basically said good, bad, good, better, bad, or worse. You can do anything you want to. Your life is your choice. It's what you choose to do with it. Make your watch strong enough to make you move. How about that? That's what's up. So, look. And and also, look, just be committed. There's not enough commitment. We don't commit to nothing. Like, it's like, if it gets hard, if it gets a little difficult, we instantly quit. We're a generation of quitters. But the people who, who hang in there long enough always get what they're supposed to have because... Let's say we all want the same thing, right? Let's say we all want the same thing. But Gwen quits in her first week. And let's say Sha quits in her fourth week. And let's say um, Jessica quits one month in. Val quits two months in. Now, if we're all competing for the same thing, and Tamara basically last seven months if I ain't get for a year I won I've won I, I've won the ball game because again that's how some of your blessings are think about it everybody wants pretty much the same things 
So, you know, I don't know if this is how it is, but in my mind, in, in my mind, it's kind of like this. All right, we all compete for the same thing. What sets me apart? And then I'm going to use what sets me apart, and I'm going to use it every day. And I'm going to hang in there until everybody quits. I'm going to hang in there long enough until everybody just gets flat out discouraged. I'm just going to hang in there until everybody falls apart and I get what you're meant to have. You see what I'm saying? I'm reading Tracy stuff. I had to shed negative people to shed my weight literally and figuratively speaking. You do. You, ha you have to... Um, people, you have to prune. Okay? You have to prune your season. I mean, you have to prune your people especially when you're going into a new season. Because a lot of things that used to hold you up, follow me on this, a lot of things that, a lot of people, and a lot of things that used to hold you up, it's kind of like having a hand in your back to hold you up, even when you want to fall down. See, there's going to come a season where the things that used to hold you up hold you back. The thing, when the palms are open, watch me now. When the palms are open, it's all good because they're holding you up. They're your backbone. They're holding you up. They're supporting you. But there comes a time when the hands go from here to here. So what used to hold you up is now holding you back. It's holding you down. That's when you have to start cutting and pruning those things. But first of all, you just have to be able to differentiate between if it's this or if it's this. Because if you don't see that it's this fast enough, you'll miss your blessing. You'll miss your stuff. You'll miss your stuff. Feel me on that. But that, that's going to cause you to, to be aware of your stuff because, you know, th there's a moment when that support goes from here to to here and as soon as you feel that grip you gotta cut some stuff loose you gotta cut some people loose you gotta cut some habits loose okay but again it's going to require you require you to be aware that's important know when it's when it's here and know when it's here because when it's here you gotta prune you gotta cut people again you're you're the ceo of your life so you got to make choices and you got to make changes because it's all about what's best for business. You are a business. You're your own business. And so you got to take the feelings out, up out of that thing and be like, what's best for business? Is this person good for business? Is this situation good for business? If I get out on that road after I didn't, you know, had a whole bunch of drinks, is that good for business? If I'm laying out with somebody that ain't mine, is that good for business? If I if I stay in the company of somebody that don't have a good reputation, is that good for business? Again, you got to start looking at yourself as a business versus, oh, I'm just Tasha. I'm just Val. I'm just Tracy. Look at yourself as being bigger than your first name. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep driving. And in the end, you got to press past yourself. When you can learn how to press past yourself, you've won life. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. So I'm about to hop up out of here. But if you want to take advantage of the deal of the day, I, when you get the Super Stomach Shredder, I'm giving away three free DVDs and I'm giving the Detox away. I'm giving three bottles away. So I put my number up here for you. So you can text me if you'd like it. Uh, text, yeah, go ahead and text me. This is my number. And again, people don't be putting their numbers up there like that. Again, I'm followed by millions, but again, it don't matter if I'm followed by millions if I can't help the people that I'm supposed to help, if I can't serve who I'm supposed to serve. So, yeah, that's my number. <laughs> so that's what's up. Because again, weight loss is personal, and I'm extremely personal. So if you know me, you know me feel me on that that's important to me uh because again 
you're trusting me to help you and that's what I do so that's what's up so I absolutely love y'all so let's get it if you want it text me and let's let's rock and roll because again I'm going to help you lose 30 pounds before the 4th of July because again cookouts need to be shut down islands needs to be shut down because I have a lot of people saying I'm going to the Bahamas I'm going to Jamaica I got this trip coming up I'm like I'm going to help you shut down the entire island how about that? Let's shut down the entire island and be happy all of the day. How about that? How about that? So let's be spectacular, even on a Saturday, because again, we're breaking next. We're breaking next. We're dropping jaws, and look, and we just putting hurtings on people because it's the right thing to do. Love each and every single last one of you. I'm gone, beautiful people.